Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I've made for you. Today's video is going to be about changing your desktop environment. Not ricing it, but I mean completely adding a new desktop environment. I don't suggest getting rid of the old one and I'll explain why at the end of the video. I'd like to welcome you to this video on how to change out your desktop environments in a Linux distribution. Linux OS is a very versatile and customizable on a wide range of desktop environments that are out there to choose. You've got some of them like KDE, GNOME, XFCE, and Cinnamon, just to name a few. Now, desktop environment, for those of you that are new to Linux, is the graphical user interface that you see and experience on when you log in. Uh, that allows the users to integrate, interact with the operating system. Linux desktop environments are full of unique features and benefits. That's another reason why you might want to consider changing your desktop environment. In this video, we're going to take a look at the process of how to do that. How to add another Linux desktop environment to your existing Linux distribution. If you're new to Linux, this video is going to guide you right through it. So let's go ahead and take a look at our desktop. Okay, so here I have GNOME installed on Arch Vanilla uh, with the GNOME desktop profile uh, freshly installed. Uh, so there's been no updates done of any kind or anything of that nature. But the question that needs to be asked is why would you want to change this, right? I mean, those that like GNOME is like, that's sexy. You know, those, those that like KDE, they're like, oh, that's, you know, that's sexy, whenever it is that desktop. But, you know, imagine that you have been there for a while and you're tired of looking at it. Say you've had it installed for over a year and you was the first distro that you've installed and you know that there's more to be seen. Well, there's that reason. And then in addition to that, another thing is you can gain new features by changing your desktop environment in Linux. So you can actually have two desktop environments installed and you can have the features of one and then the new features from the other one. So what these can do is they can help improve your workflow and productivity. For instance, if you're a developer and you prefer a desktop environment that has better integration for your development tools that you've read about, that's going to be one you want to pick, right? Alternatively, if you're a graphic designer or, you know, you create videos for a living or whatever, you know, artistic design, then you may want a desktop environment that provides better support for like image editing, video recording softwares, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, there's different reasons why you may want to use these other desktops, especially as you further your longevity in Linux and you learn about other things that are available to you. It may suit you and your specific needs and preferences by making that Linux experience a little bit more efficient and enjoyable by switching to that desktop environment. Some of the most popular desktop environments to note out there are XFCE, KDE, GNOME, are a lot of your go-to ones. XFCE is a very lightweight and fast environment that offers perfect older hardware. It's, it offers perfect support for older hardware and lower power devices. So that's what we're going to use today in this example, the installation of it, to show you how you can do it and how easy it is. Let's go ahead and dive into that. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to open up a terminal. In GNOME, this is GNOME 46 up here is where you get to your applications. You go here and then you go right here and then you go to turn or you open up a terminal. We're going to go ahead and make this as big as possible. And we're going to make the font bigger so you guys can read what we're doing. Now, the very first thing that you're going to want to do, especially after you install any type of distribution of any kind, or you make these changes to installing a different desktop environment is to update. In Art, the package manager is Pac-Man. In Ubuntu, for example, that is going to be App. In OpenSUSE, that's going to be Zipper. So you're going to want to use the correct syntax specific to your package manager. So know that before you do this process. So we're going to go ahead and type in simply this. For stud for um uh, Arch is pseudo Pac-Man dash capital S Y Y U. And then we're going to enter our, our root password. 
because once again we're doing you know elevated privileges and because it's brand new i downloaded there was nothing for it to do so that is a good thing so now we're going to type in clear all right oh let's spell that right okay so now that that is done we're going to download and install the actual XFCE desktop environment. And we're going to do that by typing in sudo oh, S, capital S, Y, and then XFCE, no, no capital X, 4. We're going to hit enter. So now this is what it's going to want to do uh, that we're that we're going to install. We're going to hit yes. We're going to hit Y for yes. Oh, just hit enter, enter, and then now here we hit Y for yes, and it's going to do its installation. I will pause the video, and when it's done, uh, we'll proceed on to the next step. Okay, that took all of around ten to fifteen seconds, and it installed. So now we're going to proceed on to the next step. Now the next step is simply this. What most people may not know is that some of the desktop environments out there have extra that you have to install to make things work. In the instance of XFCE, you want to install what's known as XFCE Goody. And what that does is that's going to install like some extra plugins for different programs like Whisker Menu, uh, Thunar, all these kind of things. It's also going to install like the XFCE terminal, 7-zip, band control, uh, and those kind of things. So to do that, you're going to want to type in same thing as you did before, which you can hit the up arrow key, and it's just going to copy what you typed in before. And then all you do is hit dash goodies. Not goofies. Goodies. And you want to hit enter. It's going to do this. We're going to hit default for all of them. As you can see, like it's doing a battery plug-in, Clipman plug-in, uh, CPU frequency plug-in, uh, all kinds of different stuff. Waveland plug-ins, uh, XFC artwork, XF burn, which is a burning district. It's installing mouse pad. So as you can see, it adds a lot more to it. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to hit enter for default for all. And we're going to hit Y for yes. And we're going to let it do its thing. When it's done, we'll proceed to the next. Okay, so now that you've done this, the next step is actually going to be to log out and reboot. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit this. We're going to do this. And we're just going to probably just, why not just restart? And so now we're going to hit here. Now, if you notice, you have a cogwheel down here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So we're going to click on that and we're going to do the XFCE session. Now we're going to type in our password and we're going to log in. And now we're on XFCE. Now, note, we still had the actual greeter the gdm greeter for gnome now we can change it because xfce uses its light dm reader so we'll have to install light dm into this and enable it and start it in order for it to to, to work and disable gdm3 which is the greeter for gnome so first what we're going to do is we're going to make this look as it should in a nice resolution so let's go ahead and do that by going here and then we're going to go to uh, probably under settings here we're going to look for display there we go and we're going to select 1920 by 1080 which is somewhere in here uh, let us find it 1920 by 1080 we're going to hit apply and now we have a very nice looking resolution so uh, we can close this out i don't know why i made that bigger so we'll go ahead and close this out, make it smaller and close it, and there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to load up a terminal, and then we're going to make the font bigger so you can read what I'm going to do. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in sudo 
Pac-Man, dash capital S, Y, and then light DM, and we're going to hit enter. And then we're going to type in our password. Now, I've already installed it. So, it, oh, no, here it is. It, we're going to install it right now. I thought I installed it. And so we're installing it now. So now we are good to go. So now we're going to type in sudo system DTL disable not K disable GDM dash F forcible. We're going to hit enter. We're going to give it our password. And now it has been removed. And so now we're going to have to enable light DM. Okay, so to enable it, you type in sudo system system CTL enable light DM and you hit enter. So now it's enabled this or light DM. So now we got to pick the actual greeter. The greeter is the one that you actually see when you log, go to put in your password. So now we got to we got to do that. So there is Slick Greeter and then there is GTK Greeter. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and pick the simple GTK Greeter one because that is the default one that usually comes in. So that one is, you install it by typing sudo, and then pacman. Everybody knows my typing is horrible, so. So sudo pacman dash sy, and then you're going to type in your greeter of choice, which is going to be light dm dash gtk dash greeter. And we're going to hit enter. And now it's going to want to install it. We're going to hit yes. And now it is done. Okay, so now that we've rebooted and we've selected, we've enabled our DM greeter and our light GTK greeter, light DM GTK greeter. So now we're going to enter our password. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to make sure that we get the right session here, which is the XFCE session. Uh, normally, sometimes it'll be like this GNOME. You can look and see right here, but you just want to click on the XFCE session. It changed to XF up here. And so now we're going to put in our password. We're going to hit enter. And there we go. Bob's your uncle. We're in to XFCE right here. This is it. So it's just that easy. What we did is we installed the XFCE window manager and the XFCE desktop environment, the extras, and then we downloaded light DM, which is the actual greeter for it, the uh, display manager, and then the actual greeter, which is light DM GTK greeter. We downloaded and installed that, enabled the full services for it, and then rebooted into it. And we have successfully done that. So guys, I sure hope that this video right here has helped you out a lot and has taught you how you can successfully swap out or add another desktop environment into your existing Linux distribution that you have. The PSA that I want to give is uninstalling your original distribution's desktop environment can cause breakages. So it's never advisable to remove that one. It's always okay to add to it, but you don't want to add too many, maybe one or two at the best. Swap in between them. Make sure that you can, you know, get one that meets the specific specifications and needs for what it is that you're trying to do. If you don't like the second one, you could always remove the second one. It doesn't usually tend to hurt many things. That's something to know. Other than that, you guys, tell me. So, what do you think? Leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, please. The subscribe and share it as well. As always, I will simply tell you. Y'all keep doing what you do. Keep on Linux. Stay blessed. Stay safe. And I will see you in the very next one.